Everyone feels mad coming at you. So we've been talking about VR render streaming for several weeks here on the channel now. And I think it's about time now that I've kind of had some time to refine the process to put together a video to show you exactly how you could do this. And you can tell by the video length that this is not an incredibly complicated thing. And real quick, before I go ahead and dive in, I also wanted to say if you have questions or if you want to help contribute to this project, because the goal here is to make this completely open source, I'm starting a Discord channel. There'll be a link to that in the description below. Again, if you have questions for feedback, for feature requests, uh, as well as to contribute, because I do really believe that this is the best way to escape the Oculus Wild Garden and provide really high fidelity content in an open and standardized way. With that said, let's go ahead, switch over here to the GitHub page for VR render streaming. This is on the GitHub for Fuse VR, and I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. There's a giant readme here with a lot of documentation on getting started, some of the tips and kind of conditions for using the SDK, as well as just the samples that will not be going over in this video, but we will plan to go over in future videos. But really simply, it's basically these seven steps, some of which are actually just checking steps. So first thing you'll wanna go ahead and do is grab this link right here and head over to Unity. Go to the package manager from any Unity project. And then on your package manager, click add package from Git URL and paste in that Git link. You can see I've already gone ahead and done that. It'll just take a couple seconds to go ahead and import. But once it does, you should see the Fuse VR streaming package within your Unity packages. While we're on the screen, you'll note here that you have the ability to import two samples. So one for HDRP, which I think is the predominant way that I would recommend leveraging CloudXR streaming into WebXR because of the fact that you can get really high fidelity graphics running within the browser, which is amazing. Two is VR to key integration. Specifically, that shows you how to build a VR bow and arrow, which we'll talk about in a future video. But needless to say, this is kind of one of the ways that you can learn how to utilize input from the render streaming package and get that working within, say, VRTK so that you can start building fast VR prototypes. Once that's downloaded and in your Unity package, head over to Packages, Fuse VR Streaming, Runtime Prefabs. Here, there's a prefab pre-built for you to just drag and drop into your scene. This prefab is basically really all you need to get the streaming component actually working. So we have streaming here and then we have all of the data associated with that streaming. Specifically, we'll be taking a look here at the render streaming part. And as you can see here, we've gone ahead, dragged it into the prefab. Just go ahead and verify that this is the URL that you want to connect to over WebRTC. And we're going to be connecting on WebSocket mode. The next step here is literally just to press play. One thing I should mention is if you're running an AMD chip, as we talked about in our GPUs video, you will want to go ahead and disable hardware encoder support because of the fact that AMD is not supported for hardware encoding at this time, but potentially could happen in the future. I'm actually running this on an AMD machine myself, so I'm gonna be disabling the hardware encoder for now. Let's go ahead, click play. That will start up the streaming process. And then let's head over to the web browser, head over to fusevr.com slash rendering. And that'll bring up this page here. Just a quick little disclaimer at the top, but really we're interested in the bottom here. Just to verify that that's playing, go ahead and click connect, which will connect you to the server. Now, this is the empty Unity scene, so there's nothing fancy that's going on here, but this proves that the streaming is happening from Unity and heading into the browser. Great, but not really that exciting because there's not much going on, so why don't we also try this on a different device? I'm gonna go ahead, exit off of this browser, and then head over to fusevr.com slash rendering on my phone, and then I'll go ahead, click connect here, and just like that, because we have Google Cardboard's kind of basic rotation happening here, you can see that the rotation is getting applied. If I actually head back into Unity and we go ahead, take a look at the head there, 
you can see kind of as I'm moving this around, that rotation data is getting mapped onto the head. And as a result, it updates the visuals that get rendered within Unity and streamed onto my phone. If you want to do further testing, you could actually go ahead and dynamically spin up, say, a sphere. Go ahead, plop that within the scene. Yeah, as you can see here, there's the sphere that's kind of showing up within our Unity scene. I haven't even stopped hitting play so that you can actually tell that this is streaming straight to my phone. And really, that's all there is to get started with VR render streaming. Again, if you're excited for this, as I really am, as I think it can open up a lot of opportunities when it comes to Cloud XR and WebXR, then definitely encourage you to head over to Discord and I'll be there happy to chat and talk very specifically about VR render streaming, but of course VR and AR in general as well. Thanks so much for watching and looking forward to connecting over on Discord. Until next time, this has been Fuse Man and I'm signing out.